I'm frequently asked by patients and providers alike about the prognosis for alpha-gal syndrome to resolve. It does appear that if patients can string together three to five years without tick bites, their alpha-gal IgE will slowly wane and they eventually uh, have resolution of AGS. It, it can then come back with additional tick bites, so the tick bite avoidance becomes a very critical part of this. I would say in addition to ticks, I think it, it could be important to avoid bee and wasp stings as well. And they seem to push up the alpha-gal IgE once the syndrome is established. Don't really have any evidence that it can start it, but perhaps uh, there's more to come there. So the tick bite avoidance remains key, and I would, I would throw in there uh, bee and wasp stings as well. Two things that, that we use uh, clinically um, frequently for patients are gastrochrome, so oral chromalin sodium solution for gastrointestinal symptoms, often starting at a fairly low dose and increasing as tolerated as needed for folks with significant gastrointestinal symptoms, whether that's from accidental exposures or kind of lingering symptoms. And lastly is Zolaire. Uh, approved under the uh, food allergy indication, we've started roughly 40 to 50 patients uh, with AGS on Zolaire and have seen good effects in terms of reducing the sensitivity of some folks who are, who are really sensitive and um, perhaps limiting symptoms in others who have accidental exposures.